Hey guys, I have a super awesome tutorial for you guys today, and it's about using artificial intelligence in your Gmail. And it is so amazing. You're going to love it. It's going to save you loads of time. So let's get started. Okay, well, let me get out of the way. Boom, here we are. Okay, so now what we got to do is sign in to gmail.com. So what we want to do is click sign in, and we'll use the, the email address that we've been using. So here we are in our Gmail. And what we want to do is we want to navigate over to this little plus sign over here. Now, it's important that you install the right one, but click on this little plus sign. And then at the top, you want to type in GPT like that. And then see this GPT for Gmail? This is the one you want. Now, this first one right here, don't get that one. You're going to have to pay for it. What are we all about, people? What are we all about? free we want it free that's right free so this 100 percent free ai mails right here this is the one you want and it works great as i'm going to show you click install click continue now if you don't see this on here click the link in the description of this post that'll take you straight to a1 website pro to that post where you can download this and install it on your chrome oh that's the other caveat you have to be using the google chrome extension if you use Firefox or something else, I have links in the in the uh, the post that's linked below in the description. Anyway, so I got to choose my account, which is Maximus B McCullough, and then I need to allow it to do all these services. You know, compose email, read email, blah blah blah, because it's got to have to read the email before it can respond. So you're giving ChatGPT the authority to be able to read and respond to your emails, blah blah blah. Okay, no problem. Click allow allow okay it's been installed click done now you might have issues uh i did this a couple times and had issues but uh like i said all you have to do is go to the post and blah 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 download okay so earlier i took the liberty of sending myself a few emails uh from my other accounts so and there are different kinds of emails one's a professional one one is a forwarded one uh, and then another one is just like a personal one. And so you'll see now over here on the right, you see this little blue envelope and it's, it resembles the AI mail. So you can click on that and that'll open up this little dialog box over here. And what we'll do is let that load up and then we'll click on this email that we want to respond to. Want to go out tonight? Now notice that the AI is working. It's going over that email. And now look here, we have reply, compose, and polish at the top. We're at reply right now, so make sure that that's clicked. And maybe we we'll want to respond in a friendly tone with emojis, uh, make it a short email, and we can write it in English. We could also write in French and Spanish or translate for us too, which is actually kind of cool because you can have a pen pal, right? And blah, blah. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, after you select the, your different things there, uh, you can actually put something right here. Yes, I would like to go out tonight. Now, you don't have to. It's kind of hard to see. You know, it would be nice if that box was a little bit darker. But you click in there and click Create Draft. And what AI will do is it'll take your response and put it in a, in a draft here. Hey, Hank. Yes, I'd love to catch up and reminisce about old times over a few drinks tonight. Let's meet at our favorite spot at 7 p.m. Looking forward to seeing you. Best, Max. Okay. Nice, cute, to the point. And uh, you notice how in the top it says, want to go out tonight. It's taken that email. Hank invites Max for drinks, reminiscing about old times. And that's basically what the email was about, right? So if I want to take this and, and respond to that, all I have to do is click Compose. And there we have the email in there. And I could just send that or I could schedule the send, right? I could schedule it to send it. Maybe, you know, he won't get up until uh, one o'clock. <laughs> so we'll schedule that for one o'clock. And then, then you're ready to go. Then you could just take this email, archive it. And yeah. Okay. He's going to get the email about one o'clock, which is 44 minutes from right now. Isn't this awesome? Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try the one with the proposal. 
a more professional tone. So I got my AI open over here and let me click on that email. Notice AI and realize I opened an email. So it's thinking it's grabbing that information while I'm reading the email. So is AI. And then I can respond in a professional tone. And maybe I do want it friendly with emojis. Uh, I don't want it to be a short email. Make it long. And then click write in English. And then finally, I'm going to select create draft. Now, this is a proposal that somebody wants for their website, a1sold.com. And her name was Tracy. Dear Tracy, thank you for your email. I would be happy to provide you with a proposal for your website. Could you please provide me uh, with more details about your requirements? Best regards, Maximus. Now, notice I didn't put anything to prompt uh, AI with this, okay? And I really don't like that. So maybe I want to improve it. So I'll click improve. And then maybe I'll put something here. Uh, uh, yes. I can make that for you. I need more information. Okay. So that's all I put. It. So I want to be professional tone, friendly tone, and I want to write it in English. I don't care if it's short or not. Click new draft. Isn't this great? Kind of like gives you ideas so you can sound all professional and shit. You know, it's, it's great. Okay. Okay. Dear Tracy. Thank you for your email. I'm pleased to offer a proposal for your website, a1sold.com. However, I need more information to proceed. Provide me with your requirements and I will be happy to assist you. Best regards, Maximus. Perfect. Click compose. Puts it right in there. And then I could send it. Don't want to act like I'm, like I'm, I'm too, like I'm too, uh, anxious to get it so so maybe send it monday morning and then yeah there we go and just in case i change my mind something better might come up in the meantime and i can respond a different way right so there we go and then i can just archive that here's a forwarded email open that up is this forwarding to maximus mccullough 29 nice simple short We'll just say, no, that's all we'll put. And short email, and let's write it in Spanish. Click create draft. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. Well, I, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but uh, not enough to probably read us. See, it's a bit of, I'm sure it's good. We're just going to go ahead and send that. Compose. <laughs> and send. There you go. Of course, those are all other email addresses that I have. But isn't that cool how to, how to translate languages? Now, maybe you want to use it to compose a new email. How would you do that? Well, click compose. And then down here, you'll see insert from AI mails. Okay. So let me click that. Open that up. So when we're composing emails, uh, we just got to put in here, it's, it's a hard thing to see, and I really wish they would darken that up a little bit, but we put the idea, these are called prompts, you know, that's what we've been using, prompts. And so maybe we want to talk about inviting somebody to go hiking, and maybe his name's Jack. So I just typed, hi Jack, would you like to go hiking on the Appalachian Trail in June? I have my rucksack packed. Now I'll choose friendly tone with emojis and then write in English and then I'm going to simply click create draft. Okay. So this is the AI interpretation of my message. Join me on an epic Appalachian trail adventure this June. And then it says, Hey Jack, how's it going? I was wondering if you'd be interested in hiking the Appalachian trail with me in June. I've already got my rucksack packed and I think it would be an awesome adventure. Let me know if you're up for it. Now, if you want to improve that, it's going to ask you if you want to put in a new prompt. But I like this message, so I'm not going to improve it. And then once I click compose, what it does, is it just dynamically inserts that into the email. And then I could just put, you know, thanks, Max. Or I could insert my signature if I have a signature, uh, a, my personal signature from our other email 
addresses. Just like that. And then it's ready to go. And then I just click send. Creates a wonderful email straight to the point and it saves you from adding all the fluff to it that you know people normally expect anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it saves you loads of time and you get a lot of benefit from it can you please like share and subscribe on the channel because youtube has changed their algorithm and my channel's going down that you know what so if you could do that for me i'd appreciate it and please leave a comment below. It also helps the algorithm. And I would love to hear from you. So please make a comment below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about it. Or even if I've just helped you out, could you please let me know in the comments below how I helped you out. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. And I'm going to try to keep pumping them out on a regular basis.